Um, I'd probably say quite classic, but I try and put a bit of an edge on it, maybe a bit of a London edge. So if I'm wearing something like jeans and a plain t-shirt, a bit of leather always helps. Leather trousers, blazer, t-shirt, that little bit of extra something just to make it a little bit edgy. Um, when I was about 14 years old, I had my colours done by an image consultant. Um, back then it was probably done slightly differently with the techniques, but that was it, I was hooked. I had to wear, I had my little guidebook, I was going to all the shops making sure that the colours matched. I'm not so strict now, I know what's right for me and what's not, but they, then I put that you know, onto other clients as well when I meet them. Um, not 100% strict with them, um, saying you can only wear these colours, but once I'd had that initial consultation, I was hooked on styling. Leather. <laughs> leather jacket, leather trousers, leather skirts, I've got leather dresses. Um, it just completes the whole outfit. You don't need to think about adding loads and loads of things and elements to it. The leather, because it's such a great fabric, just finishes off an outfit perfectly. Um, when I was doing my training, we learned a lot of different types of styling, editorial, television, celebrity and personal styling. Um, what was most rewarding for me was that I was dressing real people, not models. Everything looks great on a model, you don't even have to think about it. But real people, you get so much more job satisfaction um, and it's so much more rewarding to see a client who really needs you to be able to fulfil their brief. So definitely personal styling was that I had no shadow of a doubt that's how, what I had to go into. My jewellery, especially my rings. I can't, if I forget them, then, you know, I'm a bit of a nervous wreck. They just finish my outfits and I can't imagine my hands without them now. So yes, definitely my jewellery.